think Adam Gilchrist is a good hooker as well. <laughs> and I'm telling you, he's giving people their money's worth. <laughs> By this time I had died. But no wonder they called him Whispering Death. <laughs> now come to an interesting character, Jeffrey Boycott. I think I'll try the black hat. Boycott, I think, uh, sometimes he goes a little overboard. Some, somebody like Carl Hooper, which I think is a decent amount of bowling he's done, and he's quite okay, 100 plus wickets. I tell you, absolutely rubbish. Every time I tell you, Baldur's diddly doddlies, my mum could play him at six. <laughs> Commentators should be a little, you know, they should be nice to people who are making their debut, but Jeffrey Boycott doesn't believe in that. Shiv Sundar Das was fielding at forward short leg. I tell you, the absolute kiku, he's dropped an absolute kiku. If I was the captain of the Indian team, I would have given a whack on his back. Now they told him, go home, play simple stuff, don't play cricket. This is international stuff. <laughs> he loves Saurav Ganguly. The ah, Prince of Calcutta, every time I meet him in the lobby, I tell him, pitch it up. Pitch it up, that's the key. If you got to be a butty bowler, you got to pitch it up. Remember, you're the Prince of Calcutta. If you got to be the King of Calcutta, you got to pitch it up. Sort of Ganguly's batting style is extremely funny. You know, all these cricketers, Vivin Richard, made sure that their bum was noticed while their batting was there. Here's Ganguly. Now, Parthiv Patel said that, you know, if Ganguly can do it, if I have to be in the side, even I have to do it. But he has a small, so what he does is, his action is pretty interesting. <laughs> That's Parthiv Patel for you. If you remember Ijaz Ahmed, he used to do something really weird. Very interesting. But it's, I mean, if you do it to a Paul Adams who doesn't see you, it's fine. <laughs> so we come to <clears throat> int one interesting part which I think I'll enjoy doing the most is about three people Kapil Dev, Sunil Gavaskar, and Vivian Richards. All three pictures I have in my house, but I'll concentrate on Mr. Gavaskar first. Before that, just one thing. I have never understood that every couple there poster I've had is like this. <laughs> God knows if there's any reason behind it. Glenn McGrath. Okay, now Sunil Gavaskar. Now Sunil Gavaskar's walk, actually, you know, it tells us what this man is all about. No negative, sir. Attitude, charisma, style. I happened to be working with him and you know that walk I used to observe while sitting at the desk as well. Now the walk that he had while coming out and taking that catch and putting the ball in his pocket was equal to the one after he scored a, probably a hundred at Lord's and equal to the one he got the you know, book inside the office. I'll show you how the walk is. Here's Sunil Gavaskar. The only difference was while he had the book, it was like this. <laughs> Vivian Isaac Alexander Richards. Here is a Vivian Richards walk. Jack Nicholson, absolutely. <laughs> I would never bowl to him. Coming to, well, I've been told to shut off this show, but I've just got, come to know that Navjot Singh Sidhu is on air. And uh, Sidhu, are you there? Sidhu? Well, uh, Navjot Singh Sidhu, this is a very important moment. Some media people said you were the worst fielder in the history of the game. How would you react to this? Statistics also prove that you were the worst fielder ever. Is it? My dear friend Tony, that's wrong. Statistics are like mini skirts. They reveal more than what they hide. 
I was a bad fielder. Yes, to call me the gateway of India, but I learned from my mistakes. I went to John T. Rhodes and I took inspiration. I was like a baby in a topless bar, but I'm today as strong as a bazooka. That's the way to go, Tony, my friend. You can take a lion out of Punjab, but you cannot take Punjab out of a lion. After Navjot Singh Sidhu, I have nothing to say, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.